G-Code Controller's Production menu consolidates the controls that you would typically use to operate your machine. As mentioned in the previous session, entitled Job Setups, there are two types of automatic operation, Run Tool Path and Dry Run Tool Path. Run Tool Path and Dry Run Tool Path are identical with the following exceptions. Dry Run Tool Path follows the feed rates set up in the job specifically for dry run and does not respond to changes in feed rate that may be directed within the G-Code script. Also, M codes that are configured in the system to be disabled during dry run are excluded. For example, the M code used to activate a coolant may be configured to be disabled for dry run. With the exception of dry run toolpath, all of the selections of the production menu are accessible from the toolbar. In the interest of safety, all production operations that physically interact with the machine tool require menu selection, dialog confirmation, followed by cycle start. As per session 12, entitled Controls Configuration, cycle start can be configured in one of three ways. The simultaneous depression of two keyboard keys, or the closure of a single external switch, or the simultaneous closure of two external switches. In this demo, the machine is made to automatically perform a limit seek sequence using the limit switch seek menu. The hint on the status bar provides a more complete description. A button on the toolbar is provided for convenience, and a pop-up tooltip reminds you that you are making the selection that you expect. The OK selection on the dialog that appears confirms that you want the machine to proceed with automatic limit switch seeking. After you snap OK, the dialog prompts you to activate Cycle Start. When I press the Cycle Start switch, the automatic operation commences. The limit seek operation is typically configured to automatically set the home location for each stage after retracting it from the switch contact position, thus initializing position tracking. You can alternatively initialize position tracking from any position within the machine's operational boundaries using the Set Home menu. The Move By menu does not require position tracking to be initialized, since it is used to move stages by incremental amounts from the current position. The values that you enter in this dialog are persistent, so you can close the menu and reopen it later to use the same values that you had typed in. In this demo, the Z stage is being moved down a thousandth of an inch at a time as you might use to accurately position a dial indicator. The Position 2 menu does require position tracking to be initialized, since you are directing the stages to a destination relative to an established home position. For convenience, the current position is automatically entered into the destination fields when the dialog appears, so you can simply change the value of the stage that you want to move. You can optionally use the selector buttons to determine whether machine or fixture coordinates are being used for destination points. In this demo, the fixture offset for G54 is set to 1 inch for stages X and Y. Notice the current position in the destination fields change when I switch from machine to fixture. Similarly, the position readout can alternately display machine or fixture coordinates as you snap over its selector button. The fixture that you are referencing can be changed from the position 2 dialog using the drop down list. In this demo, the fixture offset for G55 for stages X and Y is set to 10 inches. Notice the position readout changes as I change the current fixture from G54 to G55. Rapid traverse rate is used by the move by and position 2 controls. Using the selector checkboxes, you can move each stage individually or all together. The optional joystick jog control, demonstrated in Part 5 and Part 14 of this series, is most conveniently used for both rapid and accurate manual positioning.
The Instant Block menu is typically used for manual control over M codes. The Run Toolpath and Dry Run Toolpath dialogs are almost identical. If Feed Rate Override is enabled, use the readout in the status group to make sure that its dial is set to an expected value. Then snap OK to confirm you want to commence with automatic operation. You will then be prompted for Cycle Start to commence. In the interest of safety, if you snap away from the control dialog, your confirmation will be removed. This is to prevent another window or application from covering the Run dialog while it awaits Cycle Start to proceed. Simply snap OK to reconfirm, then commence with Cycle Start. In this demo, I'm milling a cutout pattern into the side of a plastic enclosure. The vise that I'm using to hold the work has a reference block attached to it. I've predetermined the distance that the starting point of the part program should be from the edges of the reference block. To establish a reference point for stages X and Y, first I use the joystick control to touch off on the edges of the block with a one quarter inch rod which is inserted into the spindle chuck as a reference. Each time I touch an edge, I snap the position into the fixture offset field for its associated stage. Now I remove the quarter inch rod and insert the tool that I am going to use for cutting, which happens to be a 1 8 inch diameter end mill. I touch off the tip of this tool to the top of the reference block to establish a Z reference position. I have calculated that the starting point for my tool path is offset from the reference block 2.263 inches in the X direction, 2.109 inches in the Y direction, and 3.704 inches in the Z direction. Since I've already set a fixture offset position, I can now use the Position 2 control to locate the spindle these distances away from the current fixture home. The spindle is now located at its fixture offset position for this job. When I snap the Apply Current Position control button in the Fixture Offsets dialog, the current machine location is automatically read and entered as Fixture Offsets. The job is now ready to run. I snap Run to bring up the Run control then OK to confirm, followed by Cycle Start. 